Hello, and happy Halloween to my longtime viewers. Whenever I think about the Halloween season, I think of all the traditions I used to do as a kid, and even occasionally as an adult, like eating candy and watching horror movies. But one thing I often think about during this time of year is when Garfield of all things went existential. Mind you, this is a daily comic strip that's about an orange cat who is snarky towards his owner, hates Mondays, and loves Italian food. When did it get to the point where it made you question your life and your fears of being alone? Even the ending dialogue feels like it was pulled right out of a Twilight Zone episode. This is easily one of my favorite Garfield story arcs, and by the looks of it, it is for other people as well. I really enjoyed the story, the artwork, and the build up to an anticlimactic ending that can be interpreted in different ways. It's definitely a story that you should read around the holidays. But in all seriousness, if I wanted something that would give me existential dread while making me laugh, I'd just put on Bojack Horseman. Ugh, there's a chill in here this morning. What an eerie sensation. This doesn't feel like my home. John? Oldie? Anybody home? I'm alone. You have no idea how alone you are, Garfield. Steady, Garfield. There must be a good reason why the house is empty. John must be at the grocery. My home has been abandoned. No one has lived here for years. But that means I haven't lived here for years. What's that? <gasps> John! Odie! You're home! Hello, Garfield. Have some food. Locked fast within a time when he no longer exists, Garfield grapples with his greatest fear. Loneliness. After years of taking life for granted, Garfield is shaken by a horrifying vision of the inevitable process called time. He only has one weapon, denial. I don't want to be alone! Want some breakfast, Garfield? Oh, who, who needs it? I need you! An imagination is a powerful tool. It can tint memories of the past, shape perceptions of the present, or paint a future so vivid that it can entice or terrify, all depending upon how we conduct ourselves today. It can tint memories of the past, shape prep, precip, per, precipitations, perception, oh, perceptions. Damn it.